Hi, this is a reading for you. It is not attached to a zodiac sign nor a timeline. <clears throat> the intention is if you come across this reading, it should benefit you in some way. Feel free to check out the extended if you want to go a little bit deeper. There's always an extended version available on my Patreon, which is the first link in the description below. Like, subscribe, um, leave a comment, all that stuff if you resonate with the reading. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so <clears throat> there's a need to find balance in your fears. There's sort of a pessimistic outlook here, but I think that it's not really... I think that you'll find your problems are a lot easier to overcome than you maybe realize. I think that you probably have someone around you who is a bit self-motivated. You know, it doesn't appear that way. And they'll probably be defensive. There's probably a level of, like, controlling energy there, even if it's subtle. I think that you're sort of going to step into a place where you just focus on your passions and your ambition, your drive, your sort of aggressive tendency here actually will bring you a lot more opportunity than you think because I feel like you've been sort of dragged down in a lot of ways you're trying to balance your internal process you're trying to preserve your passion your vision and energy this is crucial because the the message here is that you're dealing with subtleties and you're maybe not in the most easy circumstances to you know navigate but you'll find your way let's look a little bit further let's keep going if this is resonating like subscribe leave a comment let me know You know, I feel like you're going to make a choice to sort of walk away from certain things maybe because it, it's like there's this whole sort of booming world of creativity, of energy, of potential, of, of you. And it feels like you sort of have to tiptoe with that. And I think that that's really starting to get on your nerves. I feel like you feel limited in your life. Now, you're going to probably start to become a lot more clear on this and you're gonna probably become a lot more sharp about this. You're going to start to balance out in your confidence and in your independence and ultimately, I think, develop a new level of self-love, um, a level of
debating what you know the truth is here for you because some of it might be kind of uncomfortable to look at and you might have a, a choice to make that you're afraid to in some kind of way but you're starting to basically examine death um, examine you know what needs to stay and what needs to go And so again, if you're enjoying this reading so far, like and subscribe, leave a comment. There may be sort of a period of time where you need to pause. Clarify this. Hmm. I also, you know, again, th there's, you know, maybe someone, and this could be someone close to you, even, someone who's sort of um, resentful towards you or, um, you know, they don't really have your best interest in mind in some way. I don't know, there, there's sort of a, an observation of what kind of binds you. And, you know, you step away from what binds you. Because I think that, you know, your advice is, basically to accept your realizations and basically kill off what doesn't serve you. Um, it's sort of saying, you know, choose you. Also, you know, there may be something about like getting out more and change it like basically what needs to change is being stuck or feeling stuck so basically whatever needs to happen to untie yourself go on go on and you know do that so i'm going to take this a bit further on my patreon if you want to join me there the link is it's the first link in the description below I am available for personal readings as well. Um, definitely like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. And I'll see you soon.